Hello everybody, welcome to this free React Hooks course on Nomad Academy. On this course, we're going to look into React Hooks uh, and we're gonna go a little, bit, a little bit deeper into the theory of what's behind React Hooks and why is it awesome. I know that I've talked about uh, Hooks before and I made a couple of custom Hook videos and people liked it and all that stuff, but I think it's worthwhile making a course where we practice them and we'll look at the theory behind stuff like use state and use effect. Um, so yes, that's what we're gonna do on this course. And also we are going to build our own hooks library, I guess. Um, I've seen on NPM, there's many people like sharing their hooks. So for example, if you look at use whatever, you will see, let's do use input. That is use interval, use input, use intersection, use in view. And this one is check if your component doesn't be port using this simple hook or react hook for setting an interval. Uh, user import tracking for keyword, mouse touch and gamepad. Like there's many, many people sharing a hooks and that's a very good thing. And I think that the architecture of hooks and how easy it is to make a hook um, is, is, is like fomenting and uh, encouraging people to share their hooks. So I was just thinking, let's just take all the hooks that I wanna make, let's put them in NPM so people can download them. Uh, I don't know how many of you have ever published an NPM package. Um, it's a fun thing to do and if somebody downloads it, it feels nice, it's open source stuff. So what I was thinking was, let's make a list of hooks, these ones, and this list of hooks, we're going to publish them, each one of them on the NPM package. So if somebody wants to ever use them, maybe we will be able to help them so they don't have to make the hooks on the run. So we're gonna use title, use input, page leave, click, fade in. Okay, so let me explain. Use title, we're going to change the title of the document of React with some hooks. That's cool, uh, and many people need that. Use input, we're gonna do inputs just because for forms. Use page leave, we're going to detect when the user is about to leave the page and then we're gonna fire a function. Use click, we detect when somebody clicks on an element, very simple. Use fade in, we make a fade in animation into an element, whatever element. Use full screen, any element will make it full screen and we're gonna go, it also goes back to normal. Use hover, detecting when the mouse is on top of something. Use network, detecting when the person goes online or offline. Use notification, send notifications to the user using the notification API. Use a scroll, detect the scroll and notify the user of the scroll. Use tabs, we're going to make a hook that will be, it will make a super easy to use tabs on a website for like a menu or whatever. Use prevent leave, we're going to, um, confirm that the user wants to leave the page, maybe when he didn't save the changes or whatever. Use confirm, we're gonna, it's something similar, except that with any function. And we're gonna do use Axios, which is gonna be like a nice wrapper around the awesome HTTP request client Axios. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be fun, and as I said, we're gonna put all of this on NPM, so maybe people will download them. And also, I think that you will practice, if you take this course, you will practice, you will learn theory, and also you will get to see how it is to publish NPM packages, which is always fun. Uh, so that's it, we're gonna make all these hooks. Of course, before we start doing the hooks, we're gonna look into the theory, and we're gonna look into like some examples, and then we're gonna go full on with the practice. So thank you for watching. I hope that I see you on the next one. It's gonna be awesome. And that's it, see you soon, bye-bye.